I apologize for the mic quality in this clips. G'day guys and welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're going to go over our round 22 tips and predictions and we're also going to go over our round 21 tips and predictions before we get into the video make sure you like and subscribe to the channel we have just hit 300 subscribers and I appreciate that from every single one of you guys I appreciate you guys so much um, now the next goal is going to be 400 and I might do a little something if we hit 500 in the next couple of months but other than that not much really I can say about this as well let's just get straight into reviewing round 21 and in round 21 I got a total of 6 out of 9 um, started off with a very very co good correct tip I got the Western Bulldogs tip correct I tipped them by 16 yeah, but I was off but I was off the margin by 39 um, t I tipped on Saturday. I tipped Essendon by pretty sure it's around 41 points. Um, West Coast team, we got the job done, and I am proud of that for my team. I'm proud of that for my boys. Um, but we ended up losing by one point, giving us a little bit of a boost going into the next couple of rounds of the season. Now, after that, and uh, after that, we have Adelaide at Gold Coast. I'm not really surprised. Adelaide ended up getting the job done. Um, at the MCG, what an upset by the Hawks, losing, uh, Port losing to the Hawks by 32 points, it's a massive upset, Flack Hawks like they say, and then at GMHBA, I don't know why I didn't tip the Geelong Cats, I tip Port, I don't know why I didn't tip the Cats, and then at Giant Stadium, the Sydney Derby, Battle of the Bridges, was well, Battle of the Harbours, I don't know, um, Sydney ended up getting the job done, and yeah, I tip Sydney. And then moving on to the Sunday games, um, the first one at Blundstone nearly could have been nearly could have been different. Um, Hall, North were leading in the first quarter by 26 points, absolutely demolishing the Melbourne Demons. Then the D's just came back in that last in that. Um, in that second quarter and I'm pretty sure it was like a one point game going to the end of that no it was a it was a, th it was a four point game going into the last um, going into that going into the second term going into the second half now at my old stadium I tipped the Saints I don't know how I didn't feel like that Carlton should have got the jump and got done. I just, oh, I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did wrong, but for some reason tipped Carlton. But I, I tipped St Kilda, but I, but Carlton got job done somehow. And then, at, and then after that, we have Fremantle, Brisbane. Fremantle nearly got the job done. Brisbane got the job done in the end by three. They ended up getting those massive chockies. And other than that, yeah, let's just get straight into the round 22 tips and predictions. So we're going to start off with the first game of the round where we have Geelong versus Collingwood. So this is going to be the only game I go through the margin on me speaking, but the margin... The point, how much points I think they'll win by for the other games on Saturdays and the Sunday will be up on the screen. I'm not going to say them at all, though. So, first game we have Collingwood Geelong. Um, Geelong getting a very, very good win against the Port Adelaide Power. Not well, kind of was, kind of we, we kind of were going to see it. It's, it's at the Cattery. Um, it's at the no, game's not at the Cattery, it's at the MCG, but Port Adelaide Geelong was at the Cattery, and you couldn't even tell, you, couldn't, you knew that um, Geelong were easily going to win, I was just so dumb, then I didn't even think about that being, the game being at the Cattery, Collingwood coming off a very, very big loss to the Hawks, losing by 32 points in a massive upset, It's gonna. it was disappointing for Collingwood, Collingwood um, but other than that, yeah, because of that performance, that Collingwood put on for us um, on against the Hawks. I feel like that they're not going to do that much better going into this game. So I have went with Geelong to win this game by 14 points. Now moving on to the Saturday games. First one at 11:45 a.m. at Marvel Stadium. We have North Melbourne versus Essendon Bombers. Not really that much to say here. North getting a very very decent game against the D's. 
um, started off the game by going into a tw- going into quarter time by leading by 26 points, and then in, uh, and then at half time they were leading by four. Um, Dees just made a massive comeback and stopped North from letting them get into the tracks. Obviously, Clarko is finally back for the Roos, and I feel like Clarko is a fighting magic um, Clarko. He helped them get their first two wins in the season, two wins in a row, and then and then obviously kind of had to little, take a little break from the AFL because of the situation, which I don't want to mention anymore. Um, Essendon... Essendon getting a very, very, very... Oh, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say about that game. It was a decent... It was a decent win. They could have lost... And imagine just losing to West Coast Eagles. Imagine just losing to West Coast Eagles. Like, it's sad to lose to West Coast Eagles because they're just so de- so below and they've been flogged so much times by 100-plus points. It just gets sad. It's for when... Um, you do lose to them, but in this case, it's not really much I can say. Essendon's going to win this game, and I've got Essendon to win this game. Now, time to move on to another game at 12:10 p.m. at the SCG. I'm pretty sure on the graphic I actually did say it, it's at 11:45 a.m. because I saw that I saw because I, when I was going to do the graphics, I saw on the AFL app that it said it was at 11:20, 11:45. 45 a.m. and it does, it does say it. So and then so and then the ESPN tips are saying the opposite thing. But anyway, here we go at the SCG. We have seen these ones with Gold Coast Suns. Um, not much I can say. Um, all I have to say is Sydney's ones are getting the job done. Not going to really say much of a preview. All I know is that Sydney's definitely going to get the job done. Now yeah, moving on to the next game at the Gabba, we have Brisbane Lions versus Adelaide Crows. Adelaide getting a very, very, very good win against the Gold Coast Suns. Um, winning to them by I don't know how much, but I'm not going to even mention how much. Brisbane, a oh, good, great thriller win for the Lions against. The Dockers, um, both WA clubs get into thrill of games, but Brisbane, what can I say? They're probably going to win this game. It's at the Gabba. Um, it's got they got a high chance of winning at the Gabba, so I've went with the Brisbane Lions to win this game. Now, time to move on to the MCG at 5:25 p.m. We have Melbourne versus Carlton. Carlton have recently played absolutely amazing footy, getting up there and going into the final series. It's going to be very, very good for the. Blues. Melbourne just scraped, has just gone into the top two after Port Adelaide losing to the Geelong Cats. Melbourne and Melbourne getting the job done to North. Melbourne have got into that top two spot. Who would have known that Port Adelaide would have dropped down positions? They were sitting in a very, very good spot and now they have dropped. So not much I can say. But Carlton do have a very, very big chance um, in this game and I do. And I do recognise that, but it's going to be obvious. We have to tip Melbourne. Melbourne's going to be the safe tip, so I've went with Melbourne. We have Optus Stadium, West Coast Eagles versus Fremantle Dockers. The Derby. Come on, you Eagles. We've got um, West Coast sitting at 18th. Fremantle fin- fin- sta- s- currently at 15th. Both teams have been having terrible seasons this year. Both teams just last round had a thriller of games. And what well, can I say... We we nearly if West Coast nearly beat Essendon, and an Essendon destroyed Fremantle. What do you think can happen? I reckon West Coast Eagles will definitely win this game. No, I'm not going to say definitely. I reckon they will have a big chance at winning this game, and I'm going to use those chances. I have tipped West Coast to win this game by seven points. Now time to move on to the Sunday games. First one at Utah Stadium. We have Hawks versus Western Bulldogs. Not much I can say. Hawks getting a very, very great win against the Collingwood Magpies. Very, very good for Hawthorne. Western Bulldogs getting a thrill or getting a massive win against the Tigers. 55 point win. It's super sad for um, super sad for the Tigers fans, but. Nothing much I could say in this game. All I know is that 
Western Bulldogs will probably get the job done, so I went with the Western Bulldogs. Now it's time to move on to the next game of the round. We have at St. At Marvel Stadium, we have St. Kilda versus Richmond. Um, St. Kilda's stuff just going to look good. St. Kilda's probably going to win, and that's all I can say. St. Kilda's winning this game, and I've went with St. Kilda to win this game. Last game of the round, we have Port Adelaide versus GWS. Port Adelaide have a very, very high percentage. They just dropped out of the two because of their loss against the Trelong Cats. GWS also, if they do end up winning this game at the Adelaide Oval in an absolute amazing flogging game, then they will definitely be sitting in the eight, and I will be so happy for the Giants then. Um, but no, I just want to go with a safe tip. I want to go with a safe tip. I have went with the Port Adelaide to win this game. And then the the subway question in the history of the AFL head to head who has won more games Essendon or Collingwood I'm going to go with Essendon I'm joking I'm going to go with Collingwood and yeah that is it for the round league tips thank you guys for watching this video make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out